Hello everybody. It might be very rainy outside, but it's very sunny in here. Um, Milan won its first game of the season and that's not that much of, of a celebration, but the first two opponents were probably the, uh, among the toughest you can have with Napoli and Roma. They had a big win over Roma. Last second win. Not gonna spend too much time talking about that win, uh, except saying that yeah, this was this a duel between my two favorite Italian teams, but Milan is just always a step ahead of uh, Roma and then it's everyone else. But I'm gonna look here at a few of my Milan shirts and I'm gonna start off with the home shirt 96-97 where we looked already at the away shirt, uh, very similar uh, overall in the uh, design aspect, you know, we have again the Opel sponsor, we have the Scudetto that we already said with the star um, and of course it was made by Lotto. Um, I actually think that the color, if you look at this quite complicated one, you have the V and then you have a shirt neck but it also has this red insert here. So yeah, uh, with the two stripes but it's not a bad look at all. Um, this is actually my second ever Milan shirt and you know, when you get the second shirt of something, that's when I started to kind of start to uh, click in me. Yeah, I'm becoming a collector or something like that. You know, when the first one is always one, you want to have a shirt and then you want to have the special shirt. At that point, I didn't want to have the special shirt yet because this was a gift from my brother Florian who went to Spain and got this one. And to be honest, this shirt I have seen. Uh, previously before I even got that and the reason why I did not get it was because it had the Scudetto on and that bugged me because I didn't have a Milan shirt if you saw my first one that was the um, 1991 it had not the Scudetto it had the European Cup here there was no, no Milan logo and the only place where the Milan logo showed up was here on the sleeves and I think it was around 93 94 that Milan started to play with the club logo before that, they didn't have this club logo on and I really wanted to have a shirt with the club logo. So I've seen this shirt before, but I never wanted to buy it because there was a Scudetto. I wanted to have a Milan shirt. I had the Ajax shirt already. I had a, a, the Lask shirt, my first one. I wanted to get the Milan shirt. And the funny thing is you could actually buy it, I think, back then where you could sew on either the logo, the logo or the Scudetto, but I was not... Uh, it was, I, you know, I'm not very sure, sure, but I know there was something with that. Anyway, um, the, my brother, once he finished high school, 98, he went with his classmates to Spain. And yeah, uh, one of the other gifts of my brother, we were, we were, I think we still are very close, was this Milan jersey. And this is my second ever. Now I absolutely love it because this one. And this one are the only ones with a Scudetto I have. But at, back at the time, Milan was winning almost every year and you couldn't get a shirt without the Scudetto. So yeah, funny how things go. Now I would kill for shirts with a Scudetto. Uh, there are a few other quirks. Um, they don't bug me too much. But again, the sponsor is printed. So if you look at the P, you can actually see that it's not very clean with the print. Also, I think the L is a little bit off, but you know, that's what happens. Another weird thing is that if you look at the sleeves, I mean, I saw I showed you the logo. This is the fabric. This is also fabric, but then there's a very, uh, is a piece of fabric. It's very hard, uh, very tough fabric. You cannot really stretch out because of that. The, uh, sleeves you can stretch out way more here here you cannot do this at all uh, kind of it's a little bit gives a restraint to it uh, as for the and same thing goes here as for the material it's very similar to the material on the Ajax shirt the 95 uh, now not also 96 97 same season a lot of 96 97 that's that's where I really got into shirts uh, don't have too many, I think you saw now almost all of the 96, 97 shirts, but they all had this kind of very ventilated uh, fabric, which actually I like. 
quite some. So therefore, this was a real nice shirt. Uh, I got this, of course, in 98. Prior to going to Australia, in Australia I got the fitting away jersey and that was the Milan shirt I was wearing in Australia. Uh, the back, of course, is plain here, red and black stripes. Um, throughout the 90s, Milan was wearing this only when Adidas took over. So this is the classic Milan striping. I like it. The, I never really liked Opel as a sponsor, mainly because Opel was also sponsored by Munich, uh, where they had a much longer contract with. So that's why I was not too fond, but you know, now it's a classic sponsor. They were wearing Opel for a long time. So it was not that unsuccessful. Fortunately, Milan was not very successful in this one, uh, 96, 97, 97, and 98. Uh, were kind of real down years for Milan. Um, I think they finished only six or seven in Serie A and then didn't get better the next year, only in 98, 99 again. But that's, they were <laughs> good again. But that's a story for another time. The last thing I want to say, it's really a few pieces of fabric that you have, as you see the black strap here. It's not one piece. Also on the back here you can see the seam, but here it is very nicely stitched, it all matches up. So, yep, that's how a striped shirt should look like. I'm also wearing here a striped shirt where you can see the sleeves are also similarly striped. Something that gets rarer and rarer. Well, let me know what you think about this jersey. Um, if you have any memories associated with Milan from that area, um, if you like this video, Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. And tomorrow you'll see another Milan jersey from my collection. Up until then. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.